go ahead and get kooky. Get crazy with Jesus because I'm going to tell you what, he does some extraordinary things. And here's the cool thing. He wants to do some extraordinary things for you. Anyway, we know the rest of the story here, and it goes on, and, you know, Jesus gives them more instructions. Go take these pots that are full of water and go take them to the master. And what do they find out? <laughs> they became wine. They're pouring wine. And not just wine. The best. And it's the comment that we, we heard in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the story here, how it goes is, you know, well, they, they normally serve the best first, and they save the the worst for last. Why? Because they don't know any better. But Jesus saves the best for last. And maybe you're sitting here today and thinking, you know, maybe my time's passed. But you know, I've been I've been wanting to do something for Jesus, and and uh, you know, but man, time goes on, and, and uh, you know, I don't know, <laughs> you know, time's ticking by. I'm going to tell you what. He saves the best for last. I'm saying get ready. Get your expectancy up high. Get ready to do something because God wants to break loose on you. He wants to do some extraordinary things. Come on. He's ready. He's always been ready. But the problem is we, we don't position ourselves in the right places sometimes. We get out of position. And, and you know, those out of position places, can I tell you what? They're comfortable. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to talk about some things that we have to do to get out of our selves. Get into a place of expectancy. And I got to thinking about my life just as we we're sitting there. And I'm thinking, Lord, you are extraordinary. You are supernatural. As I look at my life, and, and some of you have heard my testimony, but I'm looking at my life and I'm thinking, you know, I, I, am, uh, I am a person that, that barely, only by the grace of God and by the prompting of my parents that I even graduated high school. Hello? Well, what's your degree, Pastor? Well, a hard knocks, so going to work and making sure it got done. You know, persistency. Never give up. Amen. Never give up. Even when it looks bad or even when everybody tells you that you're not going to be able to do it. I don't know how many times people say, you, you know, this is just not going to happen for you. I said, well, I don't know. I'm going to keep trying anyway. And I might have shared this already, but when I was in Africa, I'm, I'm, I'm going down the Nile River and we're looking at and wildlife and I mean it looks just like something out of a natural ge National Geographic and I'm thinking God you're so good <laughs> here I am floating down the Nile in a boat and I reach my hand down and I just you know how you like to reach your hand down in the river you know as, you, as you're going by and in the boat and I looked at and the water put my hands and, and I began to think this is the water of the Nile upon my hands. The same river that Moses was found in a basket. Here I am. A kid that just barely graduated from high school. But was crazy enough to say, Lord, you can do it. And I'm going to do it. And I want to do it. Show me what to do. Where I need to go. And I thought about the water in my hand and being from the Nile and thinking, wow, what a, what a great experience that I've had. I, I mean, I've been baptized in the Jordan River. I've been dunked in the Jordan River, the same river that, that Jesus was, was, was baptized in. And who am I? I'm nobody. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like the... The little kid that was on the side of a hill and just worshiping Jesus. <coughs> And yet, a boy that slayed a giant. See, that's in every one of us. Each and every one of us has that same spirit in us. And I know that we've been playing out this song for, for quite some time now and finally getting it down to where it's starting to feel. You know, songs have a feeling. And there's a feeling to this song. 
And it's the Spirit of God that's beginning to rise up in me as I sing it. And and my desire when we do songs is that that Spirit gets in you. And it burns like like, like fire in your heart and you just can't get it out of your mind. How He loves. He's jealous for me. Love's like a hurricane. What does that mean? It's strong. His love's strong for us. Yes. And I'm a tree bending beneath the weight of His wind and His mercy. Just waiting. God, what are you going to do next? And what kind of turbulence is going to come with this? See, listen, when you're, you're serving God, I'm going to tell you what, it's not always easy. It's not like roses every single day of your life. But you know, you serve God, trusting in God, knowing that He's going to do what He said that He's going to do. 